Back with 3G construction and roofing here at 1815 Doherty, 1850 Doherty, sorry. And uh, we have a service call, possible warranty issue on coming out and taking care of um, a leak that's coming on the inside. And let me just show you, let me get down the ladder here and show you kind of what's going on. You have this little cantilever to pop out here. So the water, just on the inside of this, this window, it's, it's coming right there on the soffit. And I'll show you a still picture of that. So I do have a picture that I'll attach um, to the same email this video will be attached to. So I've already kind of looked around and, and uh, I think I have a pretty good idea on what's happening here. Um, <clears throat> I don't know for sure. And before, before we uh, know for an absolute fact, I think we need to do a leak test. And what we do on a leak test is we um, basically get a hose, put it on there and, and run it and see if we can actually isolate the leak. But there's a couple of things that's going on here. Um, obviously the leak, but you also have some severe hail damage on the house. And I'll show that to you here um, shortly, which you really need the whole house to be inspected, which I can do for you, Chris. Um, we'll take a look at um, the entire house. Just look at your windows, the siding, the roof, the roof jacks, the garage door, um, anything and everything. Um, your lights and make sure that um, we have a clear understanding on what kind of damage was caused by the hail. Um, and you're kind of like right in the eye of the storm on where this is, is located. Um, so we'll start with the leak. Um, the leak, I think, well, before I even say that, you can see how we have some dry rot right here. And that's been a, uh, that tells me that there's been a continuous source of moisture that's getting behind the paint. Um, and it looks like there's been some repairs in the past where someone's kind of cocked above the window, cocked below. I know we painted this house, I think about the same time we roofed it, which is right around 2011, 2012, I believe. Um, but there's definitely been some some obvious repairs here and i think whoever was doing the repairs were really kind of looking at the wrong place um it's what i believe is it was coming behind the gutters and the water is getting behind behind this and getting around the window and then ultimately going to the bottom of the window and then on the inside of the house as well um this gutter was recently cleaned i think one of the gentlemen that came out to look at the the roof, I think maybe uh, yesterday or the day before, is what the tenant said. Um, <clears throat> clean this out, but I've seen this so many times before, especially when we've got such a, a large volume of roof here, a large area. So you're going to have a lot of water coming down. And this little gutter sometimes will struggle trying to uh, get the water away from everything. And... and um, once we do a leak test, we can see how the flow is in the downspout, but the gutter has already been cleaned. But I've seen this so many times before, and what happens is underneath here is the water just kind of gets right back here behind the gutter, and it has nowhere to go. So it gets behind the siding, trim, and then goes down. And again, it looks like someone's tried to, to seal this before um, and do some, some work there, but I think they were kind of looking in the wrong place. If you look at these shingles, I can't even lift it up with my finger. They've sealed. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. I think it's just a situation where you have so much area here. This little gutter cannot really handle um, all that water. And if it gets backed up or if it's not flowing properly, um, it's going to back up and get underneath the underside of the shingle right here, which I'm, I'm lifting up here. It's almost try to seal this. Not to say that there hasn't been any issue with that specifically. I'm, believe me, I'm not trying to beat anybody up by no means. That's just uh, what we've seen in the past and uh, seen it quite a bit. So that's what I believe is happening with that. And we can definitely take care of um, anything that you need with this. But uh, I hate to say this, but um, you are going to need another roof. There's really no getting around it. Um, you can see... Uh, the pit marks, the hell damage, and like I said, you, you're right in the middle of the storm. This need all your vents need to be replaced. You can see the, the damage to the vents, and um, didn't didn't survive the storm. And you know it's the shingles, Owens Corning roof, 
Um, I, I can't remember what year we use on this, but I think it might have been a 30 year or maybe even a, a limited lifetime warranty on this. But nothing's going to hold throughout this this kind of storm that we had. You can see your neighbor. Looks like they're having some issues with their roof there. Or the shingles never sealed. That's a totally different issue there. But your neighbor over there, new roof. New roof. New roof. New roof. New roof. He's got a different colors there. New roof. This area just really took a beating. Had some damage on the fascia board. Um, but you can see the fibers coming through the, the ridge. And the, the, the turtle vents here just got destroyed. So you can really just see the, the damage that the, the storm had, had caused. And you can see it was coming from this way because you look on this side of the, the ridge cap, it looks good. So you cover that up, looks good. Cover that up, not so much. So we're really gonna put some emphasis on looking on this side of the house to make sure um, that uh, we're paying attention to the possible damage. I could already tell you that your gutters um, took a beating from the hailstorm. I think it would be uh, in your best interest, Chris, to call the um, insurance adjuster and uh, have them come out. And I certainly can meet them. And we can just do a total detailed evaluation of uh, what the damage is and make sure you get what you're entitled to. You can see your, your chimney cap too. You see the little, the little dents in there. Let me try to fo focus what's under my big ugly finger there. Right, there's the little divots in there. Took a beating. Yeah, right in the, the path of the storm. Um, I think we've done, I don't know, 30 houses in this area throughout the summer, and, and we're even still working on some different stuff right now. Um, but yeah, it was just a huge storm. I don't know if you know about it, Chris, but it was, um, Two hell storms, and then we had a wind storm as well. I'm gonna take a look around the rest of the house since I'm here. Um, I have another appointment that I need to go to, but um, if it's okay with you, and if if you'd like me to, um, I'd come back, set something up with the tenant, and come back and just really do a, a very detailed inspection and and just make sure that you uh, we have a clear understanding on what what has happened to the house, what kind of damage. And then, uh, you know, I think you're gonna have to get a hold of your adjuster. And uh, certainly I can meet him out here if need be. I'll help any way we can, any way I can. Um, we work with insurance companies all the time. And Chris, I think you know me well enough that uh, um, I just call it like I see it. And, uh, so the only way I know how to do it. So, um, this is what we're looking at. Um, I'd also, uh, with your permission, and, and this is not going to cost anything, just to come out here and verify what's happening with that leak. So we would just run a leak test where I have two guys come out here. I would be one of those guys, and we would just get the hose and run it um, down the, the gutter here and make sure um, indeed that's what's happening. I, I'm pretty certain that because of the condition of the gutters, um, that they've been damaged by the hail, that um, those the insurance company is going to replace your gutters as well. Um, I think something that I would recommend on this side right here, since we're dealing with such a large area, is to do um, a, bigger, a bigger gutter that can handle the water. Um, and it needs to be set just a tad lower as well because of this area, because of the pitch that we have. Um, and that way that water's never gonna back up and get behind the, the fascia. So that's what I have for now. Um, and uh, I'll get this over to you. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns, ideas. I will help any way I can. 
and uh, I'd like to get something set up to do this leak test. And I'm going to take a, a walk around right now, but I'd like to maybe do a, a detailed inspection with your permission, of course. That's it for now.